Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Battlemaster Double Crosser. Now, Double Crosser here was a gift to the channel from a subscriber, and for that, I am eternally thankful because I never see these smaller Transformers in my local store. I have one Walmart, and all it ever wants to carry is Deluxes and Voyagers. So, thank you so much for this figure. I can't wait to get a closer look at him. But first, let's take a look at the packaging. You've got Double Crosser here in robot mode. Some fantastic artwork of him up here up top. He looks like he's deflecting some blast coming in with a shield. On the back of the package, you got Double Crosser in robot mode and shield slash, it looks like he's an intersection. So instead of a ramp, he looks like a four-way intersection. So now without further ado, let's get this guy out of the package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Double Crosser all opened and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions and just like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But trust me, you are not going to use these at all for that figure. He also comes with a blast effect and that's it. Now taking a closer look at Double Crosser, when I first saw this guy he totally reminded me of the G1 Pretender double header because he's a humanoid looking bot with two heads and he's actually got a pretty decent sculpt and a very unique looking transformer. Love the head sculpts on the guy See the little dots or the little scopes there on top? I like how one's on either side of the helmets on the bot. I do wish the visor was a different color than the face, but still, not bad for such a small figure. Great molded detail there on the chest and the abs. And that's pretty much it. He is primarily this clear, translucent red plastic. I mean, it makes up a portion of the arms and the back. Now, going on to the details, or excuse me, the articulation of the figure, arms can go up and down, in and out. They're on a ball joint, and there is a swivel right below the shoulders. Legs up and down, in and out as well, also on a ball joint. And what's really surprising for this guy, considering he's got a huge backpack, he's actually not top-heavy at all. I mean, you can pretty much, well, except right there, he stands up really, really good, opposed to some of the other Battle Masters. So now, to get this guy transformed into his shield slash ramp slash intersection, it's super simple. You're going to tab the heels together. There's a little two-pronged tab that goes into the heel right there. Swing the arms up and then rotate this back section around. It'll actually click in place. And now you're going to take the arms and then just rotate them to where those little pegs go into the slots and there you go there is double crossers shield intersection ramp mode and it's pretty much double crosser laying on his stomach 
with a translucent red and black shield on his back. Now you can utilize the shield mode by flipping out this little peg right here. And let's grab, what is his name? I wanted to call him Flywheels. Sky Dread, having a G1 flashback there. And you can attach Double Crosser to Sky Tread's forearm. So now he has a blast shield to protect him from incoming fire. And you've got the little blast effect that you can peg right there. So you've got that going on. Or what his he's primarily going to be used for is his intersection mode. And of course, you can take other battle masters like Slitherfang here. Attach him there, and then we have Fangtron. I swear one of the Hasbro designers' four-year-olds come up with that name, Fangtron. So there we have that going on. Now we'll bring in a couple bases. We've got Grease Pit. So let's attach, let's see, get him attached right there. So we've got that going on. I'll bring in Rot, attach Rot on this end, and then we have Airwave, and we can bring in Airwave. I am running out of room. Attach Airwave here. So there we go. We've got, you can tell where the edge of my display is. We have a little mini Decepticon City going on, thanks to Double Crosser and his intersection. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Double Crosser with Earthrise Slitherfang, Earthrise Micromaster Bombshock, and Siege Battlemaster Caliburst. The Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Battlemaster Double Crosser is a pretty unique looking bot. I'll admit it, I am going to miss these small battle masters when they discontinue in the Kingdom line because I have really enjoyed all these unique little figures. I think this guy is really cool, especially if you're going to utilize the base modes. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Double Crosser. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Battle Master Double Crosser belong in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of all of those base modes we've been getting lately, absolutely. This guy is going to be so cool to utilize as an intersection to add so much more playability and versatility to those bases. And not to mention, he's such a cool looking robot, very unique looking, and I think he's really going to stand out on your shelf, even though he's a little small. So yeah, if you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.